Hey folks, Rob okay. with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're out at the beautiful 10,000 Lakes Concourse d'Elegance in Excelsior, Minnesota. And I've met uh, Jack and Ken, and they've got a fantastic 1960 Mercury Monterey convertible. And I'm gonna let them tell you a little bit about themselves, a little bit about the car, and how they met as far as the car goes. So Jack, why don't you give us a little information on yourself Thank and tell you. us about your car. Thank you. Well, this all started back in uh, when I first got out of the Navy. I bought a 1951 Plymouth. And I had it for a year. And finally, my wife and I decided we got to kind of upgrade ourselves. And I bought a 1960 Mercury, exactly like this one, when it was a red one. And for the last uh, 60 years, I've been wanting that car again. So eventually, I talked my son-in-law into buying one and well, you wanted me to find you one first <laughs> so that you could buy it. Yeah. <laughs> but that fell through, so yeah. I ended up buying it. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he, we, we, we kind of went together on it. Okay. And, um, and, but when we when it came off the trailer, it was a piece of junk, as people know what cars look like when you buy them sight unseen. And from that point on, uh, seven years ago, they started the restoration, and what you see here is the final product. Now, where did you get it? Where was it uh, when you bought it? Was it, it was from New, New York. York. It was from in New York, York State. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you were saying the X frame though was in pretty good shape, exactly. but uh, yeah. so how about the floor pans and things floor like that? Floor pans were fine. Um, the rockers are replaced, and the lower sections of the rear quarters. Okay. Um, so this took you seven years to get it in the shape that it is now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So, tons, of, tons of work. So, I, I can it, see it, because it's no, not a junker right I now. I tell you what, if you see the car the way it was at one point, it was a part. Right. Totally a part. I've always wanted to ask, where do you start when you've got something that massive? That you don't right, know, right. Originally, you don't know how far you're going to go into it, but right. the more you start disassembling, the more in depth it gets. Right, so know, does it not get more demoralizing that does. you just want to... There's a lot of low <laughs> points. <laughs> no, it, it costs more. Well, what what kept you going? What kept you uh, going to him? want to see it to fruition, to get yeah, it back yeah. to what he had, a car like he had remembered? Yes. Oh, that's, well, that's quite a tribute. He did a wonderful thing for me. That's quite a tribute. Well, yeah. tell us a little bit then about the car as far as it's, what you know about it, like the engine, the horsepower, so or is it a, just a... It's a 312 V8 um, base model, so it's a Monterey trim. Okay. Um, power assist steering. Okay. No AC. Okay. Um, uh, interior was not too bad a condition, just had the top replaced, front seat, and okay. the carpet. Windshield? Okay. Windshield was, <laughs> the windshield, the original windshield was, was fine, but we had a problem with the hoist, it tipped off or fell off the hoist and hit the right, uh, right side of the windshield. So we had to find a new windshield for that. How was that hunt for a windshield? It was hard. It was difficult. Really? It was about $1,000 for a windshield replacement. The windshield. Yeah. Wow. Um, but you were able to find one or yeah. did someone have to make one? No, we were able to find one. You were. Actually. Okay. But obviously they knew what they had, so yeah. therefore your price is a little yeah. elevated. And it was, it was brand new. The windshield was yeah. brand new. Oh, I can't wow. believe there's that many people restoring these cars. Right. So, you know, supply and demand. And, right. And you were saying, I was asking you earlier because, you know, it is a Mercury, so it's the, you got Ford, Mercury, Lincoln. Uh, it's it's general shape is kind of of the of the Fords of that era mm -hmm. of 60 but it still had a lot of unique parts that really made it hard to restore because it's the mercury yeah. version and I tried to go to the Ford Galaxy to get some you know right. basic trim parts right and there was no luck there no no so I would always have to always focus on the mercury because every year at that time we were talking about it earlier yeah. they changed design so not only was it the mercury which is probably that's, lower production but thing. then you had it had to be 1960 yeah. Because 61, yeah. they would have changed completely some of the trim pieces mm -hmm. or yeah. the, the grill or the yeah. tail lights. Yeah. Um, t today, the, the things stay pretty standard for a couple of years. Right, you got four or five years but, that they're the same, uh, basically. I had a 55 Mercury, uh, totally different from a 56. Right. I was looking for parts. Right. And the same thing happened, 60, 61 Mercury. Yep. So yep. It, was a, it was a job. It was a job. 
Yeah, anybody that has restored a car right. understands what we're saying. Right, you've got to get, you, you go into it knowing these. These yeah. are so this isn't a surprise to you. Yeah. You know it's going to happen. Well, we knew, it, we knew, we knew, we knew. But you still did. But it, but it was we had, uh, but basically <laughs> solid. The we car had some was very talented solid. family members. Okay, uh, brother-in-law did a lot of the body work. Okay, and then my um, son's future father-in-law okay. did the paint. Well, you so. said you had welded in like the uh, rocker panels yep. and some on even the back, and we'll show some close-up yep. of that in a minute. But uh, and then you laid black paint over it, which shows every single perfection imperfection yeah. there is. Yes. But whoever did that welding and body work for you is phenomenal. Oh yeah, yeah. Did a great job. And then the paint on top of that too. But mm -hmm. you you know how it is. The foundation has to be perfect when you're doing black paint. Yeah. Some paints will kind of hide and mask with just the shading, but black. Yeah. Black part shows everything. Shows everything, shows yeah. everything. Yeah. exactly. Well, why don't we take a walk around and take a look at some of the details on the car. And you were saying, on, Ken, you were saying on the hubcaps, you had added the spinners. That's something yeah, exactly. that was not yeah. original. Just bolted on the spinners, which was an option for okay. those hubcaps then. Uh, but the original hubcaps, I just polished them up and Great mounted work. those spinners to it. Um, but changed it to radial tires. They're 14-inch tires. Ah, okay. Um, now, have you done anything? Is it still the drum brakes on it? or it have is. you up Still, still okay. the drum break. Okay, okay. And you said this is actually the you just done this summer, about in March, I believe it yeah, was. Exactly. And Over the last winter, we've just been kind of fine detailing it. Okay. Um, so it's been hit. It's just finally hit the road. Okay. This spring. So yeah, then this is your first car show. It is. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Well, it's a great car show to be yeah, at. It is, though. Yeah. It's, it's, it yeah, you just finished well. the car, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 So this is it. This is this inaugural car show. Yep. So the interior, the door panels are original. Thankfully, they're all in good condition with the Mercury emblem, you know, go to right. something we can't win for losing sometimes. No, back seat's original. So we had the front seat reupholstered, the carpet reinstalled. Now, would this have been leather or vinyl? Uh, it's vinyl. It is, yeah. okay, okay. Tanu cover is original. This is? Yeah. And then uh, Amazing. a new white yeah, top. Right? So everything's original. Carpeting? Original? Carpet, car new, new carpeting. New carpeting, yeah. okay, okay. But, but as far as the chrome and everything on the yeah, dashboard? That's, that's all the way it was. Look at that. Um, now, uh, automatic transmission. Yeah, I see yeah. that. No no third pedal. No. So three speed? Three speed. Three speed, okay. All right. But I'm sure she's a, she's a cruiser, I'm sure. Yeah, Just, uh, it's probably 4,500 pound car. Okay. You know, so. A quick story. We, we moved from Cleveland, Ohio back to Minneapolis and we had three kids. Okay. We're on the Ohio Turnpike. My three kids are standing up in the back seat. <laughs> there wasn't a seat belt. No, no, no not at that time. No, and we let the kids stand there while we drove down the Ohio Turnpike. That's just the way it was. We That's were a lot more hardy back then, and we, and we lived. They're all still alive. Right. <laughs> now you would. Uh, but now, yeah, you know, you'd be that. in jail the rest of your life. <laughs> I don't live so dangerously, so I put seatbelts in it. Right, right, yeah, because I think seatbelts came along in the late 60s, 66, yeah. 67. But, but yeah. thankfully, uh, steering wheel was good. Dashboard, I had a couple cracks repaired. Okay. Still original dash. I imagine probably trying to find that emblem in the center of the uh, the steering wheel would, have, would really be a yeah. bear oh, to yeah. find that kind of clear. Yeah plastic piece That's you know my uh, my red car had a crack in the dash yeah, definitely show that Keith yep. Johnson did the body and Tim Cassette uh, did all the paint work for us so really good job appreciate that what I really like about it is the and Ken you were saying it how the tail lights are kind of canted into at the bottom mm -hmm. to give it a little bit of a V look and it's really different this is again where Mercury set themselves apart from the more pedestrian Ford that on the tail lights mm -hmm. and how just all this extra chrome yeah, and everything it, through and here and it fits the curve of this yeah yeah, yeah that's that really cool this is when uh, stylist still had a say in Detroit and in, in Dearborn uh, it wasn't all the accountants and bean counters that said no it has to meet a dollar amount they were allowed to freely do uh, chrome and design and all the cool lines just this line here I like this yeah, yeah. that they, yeah. It, it kind of to me evokes the old um, like an older car of the 30s or 40s to where you would have had like straps come down the, to hold on a trunk yeah, or something yeah. a, a steamer trunk I like that and then you've got just it's it's just subtle enough too. It's not flashy. Yeah, just Where subtle three, four years make, earlier, you had a chrome-laden everything. Yeah. But then you got to this car that was 
boys. All you gotta do is look around at some of the other cars, the way they're so flashy. Yeah. And this is this is calm class. It understated. Yeah. And the lines yeah. on it are absolutely elegant. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this: What is your favorite? Thing about this car, and it can be a memory back to the other car as well. What is your favorite thing or two I about think, this car? I, I just think the thrill of when I went down to the shop to pick it up, it was sitting under a bunch of spotlights okay. in this you know, car dealership. And I, I walked in, and it was a friend of mine who was a salesman there, Okay. and he had called me to come down. He, had, he said, I've got the car for you. Now, I had a 55 Montclair, okay. which I love. There's sure. one right down here. Okay. Down the road. But when I saw this car, I just had to have it. That's all there was to it. Okay. It was just us, you know? Right, right. It, it just felt right. It felt right. This is it. And this it just me. makes you feel good because yeah. you know this car, but it, it yeah. evokes those memories of years and years ago, that car that you bought off yes. the showroom. Yes, it does. Ken, what is your favorite thing about this car, oh, about your the, car? Just the design characteristics of it. Okay. I think the back end is so captivating. Right. I'm just mesmerized right. by the design of it. So just the overall you know, features of it, I think, is... At first, I'm like, why am I doing this? Right. You know, why are we going through this? Right. But the more I've, uh, you know, I've grown to, to really be A lot of hunting, a lot of money, a yeah. lot of sleepless nights maybe, and a lot of frustration. Oh, yeah. But yeah. at the end of the day, I think you can look at this and say it was well worth yeah. it. The end I product, did. the end product is well yeah. worth it. Makes, makes the, uh, pays off for the long journey that it, it took sure you to does. get here. Mm -hmm. It sure does. Well, thank you guys so much for hey, sharing your story. This is our pleasure. Thank you for sharing your car with us. We oh, really God, do appreciate you it. You've got a fantastic story, fantastic car. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Thank you for doing this.